Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Praise the King of Kings. And another flood. My dear friends, Jesus Christ is Lord. God sent me here to preach to you about Jesus Christ. Hoping that some of you today will give your life to God. Amen. Today's message is Do you believe or not? Do you believe or not? Do you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord? The Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verse 9. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised you up from death, you will be saved. Now, friend, do you believe it or not? It is up to you to be or not to be. This is a question we must all answer. But to be, what does it begin? Wait, in one word is to believe. The Bible says in Acts chapter 15, verse 11, but we believe that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be saved. In other words, to be or not to be, that is the question. You must answer, not sitting on the fence. You either in or you are not. It is a choice. Do you believe or not to be or not to be? That is the question you say to be what? To be a Christian. That is the question. To be a Christian or not to be a Christian? To be a Christian is to be in the Christ or not to be in Christ. Listen to me, friend. You must believe. You must be a Christian to have eternal life and forgiveness as he says in the word of God. Are we to live as Christians? We are to be. I know the be attitude as spoken by the Lord Jesus Christ. We are to be pure, be merciful, and be peacemakers. How does the word of God put it in? We are to be many things. As Christians, we are to be strong, to be lovely, to be kind, be forgiving, be patient, be joyful, be hopeful, be giving, etc. We are to be Christian and to bear fruit. And the Bible says our fruit will remain. What is the greatest to be a Christian? First and foremost, we are to be believers. You cannot be a Christian if you do not believe. So it all starts with believing. The Bible says in John 3, 16, that whosoever believes shall not perish, but have eternal life. Hear that whoever believes in the Lord Jesus Christ shall not perish, but have eternal life. My question is this. Have you believed? You see, in Acts 15, verse 11 says, but we are to believe that the grace of God through Christ Jesus Christ, we shall be saved. Amen. In Acts 16, verse 31, and they say, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and they shall be saved and their household. So first we must believe that in order to live and to move and to be, we must be in Him, in Christ Jesus our Lord. That's the reason why Apostle Paul says. In Acts 17, verse 28, for in him, in Jesus, we live, we move, we have our being. Our being is to be and is to believe in Christ Jesus. The question is, do you believe or not? It is your business. Believe. Because that's the only way that you might be saved. The Bible says in Acts chapter 4, verse 12, Salvation is found no one else, for there's other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. The only name that saves is the name of Jesus Christ. So you must believe in him. If you do not believe in him, you are not saved. Because Jesus is the only way to God. In John 14, verse 6, Jesus Christ said, I am the way and the truth and the life, and no one comes to the Father except by me. You see, you must believe. 
in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, for you to believe. Now, before believe, there has to be repentance. In 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9 says, The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, and so understand slowness. He's patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. You must repent from your sins and believe in all Jesus Christ in order for you to be saved. Listen, please. For repentance comes submission. Repent, submit, and then believe. God bless you, Pastor. Repent, submit, and then believe and receive the gift of eternal life. Believe is essential. Jesus Christ is not a value that we can negotiate, nor is it a preference that we can reject. He is the truth, and the truth cannot be changed. Amen? The word of God says, Son, what must we do to be saved? They reply, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. Listen to me. This is not talking about intellectual belief. For the Bible tells us, in James, that even demons believe. We are talking about today that you must believe. You must totally surrender to the point of trusting Him, Jesus Christ. In order for you to be saved, we must believe in Him. The Bible says in John 3 18, whoever believes in Him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The message is, do you believe or not? I said to you today, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ that you may have eternal life. The Bible says, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. That's all it takes. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ because he's your way to God, because he's God. He shall wait eternal life. No other name, no other way, no other means, my dear friend. Give your life to Jesus Christ today for you to have eternal life. Remain place in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Have a fabulous day. Remain place in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Hallelujah.